Right, really quick tripwire tutorial time. So looking at this here, how to set signatures, right? You want to go to settings on the top right, go to preferences and then change to signature ID under chain map node reference. This will make it so that you can see the signatures on everything which is needed for our bookmarking system. In order to do the mask itself, you want to go to corporate mask under account settings and set it to Altfox. If you do not see this, you can search for it in this window here. If you want to set home and create a new tab, this is going to be necessary. You're going to click here, make a new tab, set it to this, J150627, or whatever you want. The name can be anything you want, but the system has to be that, or whatever you want to start with. If we're doing an eviction or something, you can set up a chain from there, and it will all map properly. So if I make this, here we go, click on this, now this works. If I were to unclick this and now click around the chain, it would shift around like this, which is very not helpful. So keep it set like that. You want to make sure that the tab is blue. Now how to find Jita. You want to make sure this icon here is set. Add viewing systems to chain. You then come to the top here and type in Jita in the system search. Search for Jita and it will show you Jita from every single hole there. If you turn off viewing systems it will just toggle that view there. You can do the same thing if you click on any system in chain and see the distance between holes or the distance between anywhere that you particularly want to find, maybe. So some more bits, you can right click and add a flare to make that red, for example, or to make this green. So you can highlight where something is to everyone. You can zoom in and out with the mouse wheel. Uh, you've got notes in each system up here. In home, we have the bookmarking scheme. You can turn the flares off like this. This will display for anyone else on the mask. The age of a wormhole is listed up here and the type of it is listed here. When you're editing a SIG, make sure that you add in the type and where it leads to. You don't need to change the name, that will just give it a custom name right there. If you want to collapse part of a chain, double click on this part of the box. That will collapse something like that, which will help you with viewing larger chains. To track your characters, go to the top right here, go to add and then type in the names of your characters in here and just sign them. That can do that as normal. And there we go now, if I look up here, now Ashley is tracked and offline and I can continue to add more and more. Uh, there's so different types of lines. So we have the blue lines, which means just a regular stable connection. A red line is a crit connection. A yellow line is a destab connection. An EOL line is, is the dotted lines right here. And a green connection is a frig hole. C1s do not have any special colours, but you can tell because it's a C1, you cannot take a battleship through a C1. Uh, you'll notice down here that people have got class 5 set as the wormhole. By typing in class 5, you'll make it display C5 just there. You don't have to do that. If you type in the actual type of wormhole, then it will tell you. In this case, it is probably a K162. And that should be all that you need to know.